When I got hurt back in June, I wasn't able to ride in the June riding tutorial. So Logan, who's been filming for me a ton, he went ahead and rode while I filmed him. That's stupid. He sounds frustrated. Everyone really liked that video. For July, I still wasn't 100% yet. Posted up my Instagram saying, hey, can anyone join me for a cornering tutorial? I need to make a video. And I got a ton of replies. Thank you all for that. And the two folks who could end up making it, Danica Fife of Fife and & Flow and Dustin Pitts of AGB Race Lab, they both have YouTube channels. Fantastic. We went up to Galbraith, we ran through some cornering drills that I've done for years and years. And then we actually hit some sections of trail with some funky corners just to get these guys cornering more consistently with more speed and safer than before. I think it made for a darn sweet video. Let's jump into it. Out of all the things that I try to get better at, this is not one of the things I've tried. Nice, light on the front brake. Whoa. Whoa, nice Dustin. <laughs> Fine. Cool. <laughs> How's it going, Dustin? Good. Good morning. Thanks for coming. Hey, there's Fife and Flow. Like you had that, you put, I think it was Instagram or maybe it was on YouTube where you said something about, don't do what I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there's a lot to be learned in that. There's a few steeper corners lower on that have some weird roots and stuff that are hard to really flow through. Right. So I was thinking just repeat a bunch of those, like do spend a half hour doing a few drills at the top of the trail and then drop in and really session some of those weird ones on lower. It's a little hipper. Ah, huckleberries. Huckleberries. They're bright red. When in doubt, just eat them. Right. <laughs> So this is a super fun way to get warmed up and get started. Okay. The way I corner is kind of different than most people. A lot of people are more about getting forwards on the bike all the way through the turn. I've got kind of my own thing where I'm more pumping through a corner rather than just like getting forwards or just in the center. The most important thing, if you're gonna be forwards or where I am, like further back on the bike regardless, is to be low. So a lot of people are standing way high up. You don't have space to move your arms around. Mm -hmm. So if you're getting low in the attack position, you can actually move your bike and then you're ready to pump when it's time to pump. Do your braking before you start turning so that you don't have to do any braking when you're actually moving. And then I'll transfer forwards to start the corner, kind of like the main normal technique of getting a little forwards. But then I start rocking backwards and pushing down. I'm getting the front end down to initiate a pump. And then by the midpoint, I'm transitioning my weight back and pulling back on the handlebars. And usually my legs will push down pretty hard too, but Everyone's different and for me to get my corners, I have to think about that pulling back on the handlebars. And when you pull back on your bars, it also compresses the rear half of your bike. Unless you're on a sick hardtail. <laughs> it compresses just you. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the general idea of weight transfer. And then the other thing is leaning your bike. So like if you're on a steep berm, you want your bike to be perpendicular to the berm because it can support you. But I don't see much of a berm here on this gravel road. So we're not gonna have that advantage. So we want the side knobs of the tire to really dig in. And if you just lean with the bike, you're gonna fall right over and wash out. Think about getting your weight on your outside foot. On slower turns, you can totally drop the outside pedal to be lower. And these are probably gonna be slow enough that you can drop the outside foot. And as the bike gets pushed over, but I'm waiting the outside pedal, then I'm still, my weight is all on the side knobs. Mm -hmm. And so you're keeping yourself upright while leaning the bike over. It's more about just like break it down to the fundamentals, start from scratch, and then we'll get fancier as we go on. Okay. Three pedal strokes. And then push that bike over, lean. Right there. On faster turns, you don't need to drop your outside pedal as much. You can keep them more level. Right. But on slower ones like this, you can totally. Nice. Uh, you could probably even get lower too. There you go. Go for it, Dustin. Cool. I think you could also get lower too. Nice. So when I say low, I mean like core, torso, head, closer to the yeah. bike. Okay. More of a squat down. Both of you guys on the last one did it really well. And I think that's why that last turn, it's also you're dropping in. So you're naturally gonna think about it more. But on these flatter turns, normally you don't think about attacking them by getting low. Yeah. But it helps. Nice. Cool. 
And Dustin, you can still get lower. I see your arms are fairly straight. Let's do it one more time and then I'll make it a tad harder. Nice. Cool. Cool. Nice. Nice. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> and you could probably even get lower, Danica. I'm like right over the back tire. See, I'm like back here as I'm doing this. Okay. There you go. Yeah! I didn't knock it over that time. And you didn't slide out. No, I could feel it. It was right on the edge. Yeah, but that was good. Nice, Dustin. Cool. And I think you could even pull further back when you're pumping in the middle. Oh, good save. Nice. There's a left turn on Tough Love here that's fairly flat and it's like 120 degrees. That's pretty tricky. That would be super fun to session. It's pretty safe. And then there's a chicane that's got like four turns, five turns in a row. That's super fun and be really cool to session. So you can pop on down. That's like the same corner we just practiced in the street. Nice. <laughs> oh, have a good ride. Have fun out there. Thank you. Oh yeah, bonus points if you guys can clear this double. Whoa, nice Dustin. <laughs> yeah, this turn. Bunch of different ways to do a corner like this. I would enter it a tad on the wide side and then set up and just hold the bike leaned over, wait on the outside pedal, because it does have a slight bank, but it's primarily flat. It's, I wouldn't call this a berm. Right. I keep weight on the outside pedal, I would lean the bike over, and then I'd probably be waiting the front in this area, and then i make my transfer and my pump right around here in the exact middle, and then hold it all the way down and keep pushing down all the way through, and I'd probably get on the, on the pedals pedaling out right around here somewhere. Outside. Nice. Nice. And your pump was a little, like you started to get a pump, but the timing was a little bit late. I feel like I'm, I'm trying to stop braking by like this area. Kind of, the, which is where it turns really beginning. Yeah, I think that was. And these marks show like where the hardest part of the corner is happening. Like, right here. Yeah, I'm pumping like here through there. Okay. Set up. Oh, kind of a double pump, huh? Yeah. I think you. The rear brake too. I should have just let it go. I was there. Nice. Yeah. I think you could go quicker, Danica. I think you could allow yourself more speed in and then work on your pump as it comes. Push it over and back. Oh. Push it over and back. If you could make your arc a little tighter, you wouldn't come out wide. Really, it's getting lower and back more. We'll bring that corner in. Lower to the saddle and back towards the rear axle, towards the rear wheel. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and you could go faster. I'd... Okay, I'll try to go faster. Nice. And if you got a little further nice. back and down, I don't think you'd end up quite so outside. Yeah, okay. Back and down. Oh. 
I saw you get a little wonky, but you came out on the inside. I was trying to push into it, and I felt like I was going to go wide, and then I grabbed brakes. That, nice! I didn't really push it out again. <laughs> you came out way more inside. Yeah. So that would mean you could use that same position with a little more speed, uh -huh. and that speed would put you more in the natural trail. So I think that would be the next key to going a little quicker. Yeah. Uh, nice! Yeah. I say that looks better than your, your first ones. I just find cool. this so useful, just like practicing over and over again. I could literally say nothing, do nothing, and you guys just repeating this corner would be super beneficial. Woo! <laughs> nice! Yeah. Nice! Set up, push hard. Nice. No, oh, and Dustin, I think you could have pushed the bike over a little bit more and then come back a tad and that would bring it in. Nice. Logan, Logan kind of squared it up a little. Nice. Woo. Didn't hit the brakes that time and I really wanted to. <laughs> I think you'll get better. Well, not that you really need any much more improvement. <laughs> this is the chicane. There you go, nice setup. Cool. Whoa, a little drifter. This is the last turn. Cool, stop right here. Out of all the things that I try to get better at, this is not one of the things I've tried. Yeah. Learning how to corner with confidence will help me on the other stuff that I've been trying to get better at. This has been really fun. Cool, cool. Fun to pass up. That's good. <laughs> here comes Dustin. Break the floor. <laughs> and that bike, nice. Oh! <laughs> if you set your line choice up to be more high to low, right. it'll probably end up being even the whole way through. But to mentally think start high, cut down to the inside, that might help a little bit. Think outside and then come out of the corner at the inside and then in reality, you'll probably end up pulling out a little bit right. and then you'll have a smooth arc. So try thinking outside or high low. High low. Yeah. 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 Outside. Nice. Get it back. Back the bike down. Oh, it's all right. Oh, oh. Yep. Outside, inside, lean it over. That's all right. Nice, smooth, steady. There you go. Lean that bike over. Nice. Lean it, nice Danica. Your left hand turns are looking great. Yeah. Lean it over. Woo! Nice. That was good. I notice if you're going quicker, you can lean more and it'll make your corner tighter. But until you run out of traction, then you land on your face. Braking before. There you go. Whoa. Yeah, nice and slow in the straights, and then you can do less in the turn. Phew. Nice. Nice. See if I can do what I'm talking about.
Nice. You got that last left real good. Woo! Nice, light on the front brake. Nice, looking at Logan's bike. How's everything feeling with the corners? The corners are feeling better. I definitely like, this lesson has helped me realize what I need to work on. Okay. And so I think what I really need to get comfortable with is actually pushing and kind of pumping the corner, even though it's flat, because I always thought with a flat corner, you can't, but. Oh, you could totally yeah, pump a flat corner. That you totally can. And then another thing is that I need to do a little bit more tipping with my bike. Yeah, leaning it over. It looked way quicker when you were leaning it more smoother too. Yeah, and you can get, cut more inside, so. Cool. So you've got a little checklist. I yeah, love it. You're taking things to practice. That's cool though. It like compart compartmentalizes like what to work on. Awesome. And that's good feedback for me that like people might need to work on those items. What do you think, Dustin? I think the biggest thing I'm picking up is just uh, staying off the brakes. Mm -hmm. And then like you said, enter high and come out low and just mentally thinking of that. And actually a big thing that helped was giving myself something to look at out of the turn. Oh, cool. I wasn't doing that. I, I tend to watch too much of the trail. And so that just made me think, look out of the turn, and that helps a little bit, so. That helps big time. Yeah, and it just, tilting the bike, definitely, makes you feel like you can turn it harder than you really think you can. Yeah, you can get, a, and the more you lean the bike, the tighter your corner can be for that speed, right. until you run out of traction. But that limit of traction is kind of determined by how much you're pumping the bike, uh -huh. and how much you're, for me, it's pulling back and rocking down as well. So I almost always come out of these turns on the rear wheel. This is like I said earlier, first lesson I've ever had in anything mountain bike. <laughs> it's a lot to take in at first, Yeah, it definitely makes sense. You can I, feel it in the bike. Cool. It's a good thing to talk about. Yeah, if that's one skill to learn. Cornering's yeah. a good one. Yeah. Awesome. That's a video. Sweet. Thank you for coming out. I appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, and thank you, Danica. Good also appreciate you. it. Nice meeting you. Cool. Logan. Good filming, Logan. Nice meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> cool. The man, the myth, the legend. Yeah. yeah He's real, I promise. Yeah. I was starting to wonder. <laughs> oh. Whoop. Nice. Ooh. That's totally where that trail should go, huh? Whoa, Logan. Guys, thanks for watching. This video was fun to make. It was fun to go out and film. If you really enjoy this kind of content, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I'll do some more. Hit my subscribe button down below. Make sure you subscribe to Danica, to Dustin. And let me know in the comments, what skills do you need to work on? I'll see you guys on the trail. Peace.